show me everything. The Evo reveals this year were lacking, to say the least. I mean, announcing that Dragon Ball Fighter Z is getting net code, but then say this is effectively the end of the game, is kind of productive. So one day you tell them this, yes, we're going to give what you've been waiting for, even though it's 20 years too late, but we're also not adding any more content to the game. So I guess the plan is to hope that people are going to buy the game. Even the world tour losing significance because it, it's officially the end of DBZ. Tekken 8 trailer was cool. Everybody kind of expected that, especially after the Street Fighter 6 trailer, uh, trailer got so much attention. So Kazuya is still alive in Tekken 8. And it's like, okay, cool. Let's see what's happening with that. There's not too much to talk about there. Um, Street Fighter VI, Kimberly and Jerry's uh, reveal was pretty cool. It was, I would say it was, even though I'm not a Street Fighter VI enthusiast, I, I, I don't want to buy the game. Uh, if the animation quality keeps going the way it currently is, uh, it's definitely looking more and more inviting. I think Kimberly is really unique cool looking character and of course jury is jury wicked as ever um bridget for guilty gear was just kind of eh. <laughs> i mean it's very guilty gear for you know the hardcore guilty gear fan i i played in the original game i played the original game i think it was for playstation 2 that bridget came out in but um i mean People were hyped for it, but it's not really. <laughs> and as quickly as they released the guy, the characters were already ready. I think Arc System, yeah, they wanted surprises. They didn't want to give us Slayer. They didn't want to give us Kai Kisuke. He's probably coming later. So they wanted to give us something to start off with that would kind of catch us off guard. But uh, the fact that they immediately released the player, the character lets me know that they kind of knew this is not the uh, hypest character, especially if this is the most Guilty Gear is sold and there's a lot of new fans. Uh, I don't think Bridget hits a wide audience, but then again, you know, it can be because it's niche and they want to keep their niche audience. I the idea was to grow. Uh, what else happened? Oh, yes, yeah, Sam Show. I am kind of interested in Sam Show, but at the same time, it's like. Eh. Like, it's kind of too late. See, the problem with them installing rollback netcode so late in game, so late in a game's life cycle is that you lose, you kind of lose interest. Like, it's the point, like, once they got Street Fighter with these games, like, by the time they got Street Fighter Five to a stage where it was really good, and it remember and it reminded me of classic Street Fighter. I already lost interest. You already announced Street Fighter Six, so you add some of the best DLC in the last two seasons of the game. You had all these fun stages, but by this time it's over now. And so the rollback net codes for uh, uh, reveals didn't really excite me. And then again, I play on PC, so I get it, right? You know, but uh, I did used to have a PlayStation Four, and I remember. The long wait times for a match so i do get it but uh yeah i think that's it was kind of lackluster and maybe evil is becoming more of a thing where we just enjoy the fights themselves melty blood has some reveals a whole lot of special moves um i think that, that they, they had the most stuff project l wasn't there because they revealed this stuff a week before uh kick and fighters had some reveals but it was Pretty much stuff you already knew. It was kind of this. Uh, it was kind of this suggestion that Capcom and King of Fighters might be coming back together. They showed pictures of it, but I don't think anything's coming of it. I'm not gonna get my hopes too high there. Anyway, that's all. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Evo's reveals for 2022. Uh, this is Deep Mind 255 out one.